imagine an aircraft is sitting on the runway and this is the cross section of the wing i have represented here now when the aircraft is sitting on the runway and not moving the air molecules around the wing are in random motion so they hit the wing randomly but the total movement of the air molecules is constant because there is no wind imagine now because of this random hitting the wing experiences a pressure from all directions that is equal to 1013 hectopascals or 7 kg per square inch imagine if i am sitting at the sea level it would be same pressure one square inch of my body will experience 7 kg so pressure now as the aircraft moves forward moves forward here the air start moving over and below the wing now the wing is called as an aerofoil what is an aerofoil which will generate a positive lift and how are they made here the curvature will be more on the upper surface which will lead to increased acceleration of air on the low, upper surface than on the lower surface so acceleration is more on the upper surface now see we have studied in lower classes total energy is constant potential energy plus kinetic energy is constant now as the aircraft wings move uh, wing moves forward the air is accelerated on the upper surface more so the kinetic energy of the air will increase that means the potential energy which is the static pressure which was exerted here will decrease the decrease in static pressure is there both on the upper surface of the wing and also on the lower surface of the wing because the acceleration is more on the upper surface of the wing the decrease in static pressure is more on the upper surface of the wing which will give a resultant force upwards this is called as lift and the aircraft as soon as it reaches a certain indicated air speed it will take off